almost forgot about you guys. Um, alright, so the, uh, Droid Root Hopper got zip downloaded, and I opened it with, uh, Astro. Here's the tools folder. What I'm gonna do is hold down, edit, and cop, oh, no, not delete. Uh, hold down, edit, and copy it. Now you're gonna go to the home, to where your regular folder is, and press the edit button, and then press the paste button. And I already have the tools directory, so I don't need to do that, but you'll wait and it'll copy the tools folder over. Now, once you have the tools folder, go back, go back in, and then go back to Droid Root Helper. Alright, now you're gonna go up, mount options. Sorry, you can't see this too well. There we go. And mount block 4 as root right. It'll say, hey, root, this means you're rooted. SC request means you're rooted. Always remember, allow. And it'll, it'll make it rewrite. It'll wait for it. Da -da -da -da. It should show up an image pretty quick here saying read write enabled. Now do it. There we go. Work faster, damn it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes this program force closes because it's trying to modify too much. Do the same thing with system block or MTD block 3. Press the sync key. Now you're going to rename this recovery so you can get the hacked recovery. And bam, renamed. And it keeps scrolling down. And you're going to install and chmod busy box. You're going to press the next button down. Now, the next two you don't have to press. This is install themes. Um, you don't have to do that. And you don't have to do the boot animation. If you want a different boot animation, do that. I don't know if it works because I'm not doing it. And then you'll do reboot. Never mind, you won't do reboot. You're going to recovery, and it'll say flash the recovery image with this hacked image. And it'll say for advanced users, ignore the advanced users. That's just to ward off normal people. And then you go, what happened? Then you wait. And uh, if you hold down X while it's rebooting, which I am, I'm going to see if I got the button fast enough. I might not have. Hold down X after pressing all those buttons and letting Droid Root Helper eliminate like two or three dozen lines of code, if not more. Are you gonna boot or go into recovery? Decide. Uh, damn it, it's booting. Okay. So, never mind. I want to wait for it to boot though. So I'll do that. Then we'll go back. Hold down the X key and then reboot. Hold down the X key. And now you'll get into the hacked recovery that I have. You'll also have a bunch of tools that you won't use unless you're probably following my instructions or an advanced user already. Um, here's the menu. Let's see, where is my zoom set at? Sorry about this, guys. Um, you have a few options, you know, reboot, wipe data slash factory, wipe the cache, mount options, backup slash restore, and install. Um, mount option gives you a really easy button to mount system slash, or data, or cache, or SD card, depending on what you want. And you can go in and do backup slash restore. This lets you make backups of what you have, and more importantly, load backups. Now, as you can tell, it'll choose which part of the system you want to restore, and you can choose which backup. I have a Nexus 1 backup here, I have a bugless backup, and I have a, another beta backup, as, long as, as well as mine. Um, yeah, this menu will help you hacking a lot, but you have a lot of essential tools now, and essentially everything you'll need to modify your droid in future videos. So yeah, congrats, I guess. And reboot your phone. Alright, this is like my fifth time trying to make this video, so sorry if I'm a little aggravated. Um, I'm going to show you how to root the droid. Pretty easy. Root the droid and then use some advanced options. Um, there we go. First off, plug in your droid to your computer. Unlock it. Go here, wait for it, and go to USB. Mount your phone's SD card. Now in the sidebar, you'll find a link for update.zip. Take that update.zip file and copy it here into your removable disk droid. I already have it, but I don't need it because I'm already rooted. Now what you'll do is go back to computer, 
right click. Da -da -da -da. And eject. Alright, I'll get the little safe to remove icon on the bottom. And then pull out your phone. Alright, and turn it off. Hold down the power button. Press the power off button. Press the yes, I'm sure I want to power it off button. Now, I have the modded version that I'm showing you how to install, so it's going to be a little bit different. But what you do is wait for it to shut off. Hold down the X button on the physical keyboard and hold down the power button. T the Motorola sign and keep holding down the X button 10 to 15 seconds. You guys will get a um, a small triangle with an exclamation point and a droid looking object next to it. You won't get this screen yet. When you get that exclamation point with the triangle, go back here, hold down the volume up button and then with the other hand, press the uh, camera button all the way down. That was a horrible stutter. Um, if it doesn't work the first time, do it a few more times. You'll get a menu that looks like this. Vaguely, not the exact same. It'll have some options. Reboot, wipe data, wipe cache, and these bottom three are advanced that you guys won't have. Um, there will be one at the top, I believe, that says update from update.zip. Press OK. It'll up, It'll say, OK, I'm unpacking it, I'm rooting your phone, blah, blah, blah. Have a little loading bar, it'll load. It'll say, bam, we're done. Do is navigate back up with the D-pad. Gold button is select. Back up to our uh, reboot system now, and the system will reboot. Now, poof, your droids reboot. Your your droids rooted. Nothing hard about that. But um, in order to test, you'll need a b better terminal magic. The program I use. Um, reboot it. We'll go through the normal sequence. And I'm going to show you how to use Droid Root Helper, which installs everything essential for all my videos to be used. Uh, it installs BusyBox, it installs that advanced recovery menu that I just showed you, um, installs Flash Image, which will be useful later, and it lets you do this. This is a uh, All Droids version 3 boot image, as soon as it loads. But, um, basically this is the intro to installing stuff on your phone. Here's the new boot sequence. Root, recover, ROM, All Droid. Okay. And once it boots back in, load everything up. Alright, easiest way to test this is to have better terminal magic loaded up or already on your phone. You'll go here, you'll have a little dollar sign, that means you're a user. A pound sign means you're an admin. Type in S U, which means sudo, which means super user. And if you get a pound sign, that means you're rooted. Congratulations, you have a rooted phone. Now, what's that mean? Nothing yet. What you want to do is go over and then go to the market. You probably have to go into your menu, but do a search and do R O T L P R. Now search for it, and you'll get Droid Root Helper. Now, I already have this pro. Oh, I had this program installed. Um, install it. Press OK, and then you know, wait for it to. There we go, da, 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 da. all right, installed. Go into it, and it'll go, oh my god, you sure you have the tools folder? No, I don't have the tools folder. So you just press the menu, it says get the tools. It says blah, 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 blah. And um, what you'll do is, first, da, 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 da. first I'll Andrew zip. All right, now you need any manage folder man man bleh, file manager I use Astro because it can unzip and install stuff and if you don't then install Andro zip and file or Linda file manager and then go press get the tools and you'll get the zip file which we'll download and will take a while so I'm gonna cut the video and start it back up when the download stops